What will happen to New York City in 2023? Well, it turns out a lot, including this shocking creation. My name is Sarah, I'm a licensed New York City tour guide, and in this video, I'm going to share 10 exciting new things that are coming to New York in 2023. Stay tuned towards the end of this video because as the list goes on, it just gets crazier and crazier, and I have to admit, some of the last things on there, I was shocked. Let's head to our first destination. It's rainy outside today, and disgusting, so that's why we got the rain jacket look. It's not cute, but it's efficient. Come on. It's a new subway system. I'm just kidding. It's not really a new subway system. That'd be crazy. It's actually a new Grand Central. I know, I was shocked when I heard it too. They're actually expanding Grand Central. It was an $11 billion investment that took over 15 years to do. They've been digging under the ground about 150 feet and um, it's gonna be incredible. It just opened all new marble mosaics, quotes from notable artists like Jay-Z, Alicia Keys, things like that. However, if the MTA would like to update the subway, that would be a nice thing. I think all New Yorkers can agree. By the way, I am on my way to meet a very special friend who you may recognize. And as we go through this video today, please comment what you're most excited about in New York City in 2023 in the comments and maybe I'll make a video about it. Oh my gosh, look who it is. Oh. Hey John, how Hi. are you? Good, how are you? This is my special guest, everyone. So John and I were just having a lovely coffee, but you know, for the sake of this video, let's talk about what's happening new in New York. Restaurants, they're always opening and closing. John, what do you think is like up and coming in 2023? A couple things that I personally went to, one is called the Ivory Peacock. So it's this new cocktail spot and it's gin inspired. Most of their mm. menu, gin cocktails, really cool new location just south of the Empire State Building and the food equally good to the cocktails, which I think is actually pretty tough to find. They have these little small plates, really, really tasty. Wow. And the other one, cheaper side, new pizza spot, Park Slope, Brooklyn, right near me, called DOP. And their slices are just like elevating the game, fresh, natural ingredients. It's a couple blocks from me, I'm there like every single week. I'm super picky on pizza. <laughs> DOP, you really gotta check them out. I will, I know you're like the pizza expert, at least compared uh, to me. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm picky, <laughs> I'm picky. I have a spot that is opening up too, and this spot has a lot of potential. It's called Bad Roman, it's Italian American, and it is being opened by the same hospitality group called Quality Branded that opens spots like Zuzu's and Don Angie's, which have Michelin stars. So to me, that's a good sign that it's gonna be a really nice spot. So I'm excited to try that one out. But the reality is, restaurants are always opening and closing in New York. Exactly. Yeah, so I'll put a link below to an article that always has the most up-to-date restaurants so you're not missing any. Well, thanks so much, John. You're very welcome, Sarah. All right, we're gonna head to the next spot. Our next category, as I look at the beautiful skyline here, is Broadway. There are 17 new shows opening this year, including Once Upon a One More Time, which is a Britney Spears-themed Broadway musical. I think that one's gonna be very exciting to see. Apparently, they use Britney Spears' music throughout to tell a fairy tale story, which sounds pretty cool. You're also gonna see Sweeney Todd open. And then there's 15 others in addition to that. And I'll put those on screen right now so you can get an idea of all the fabulous shows opening. I'm very curious, which ones do you think are gonna be the hits? Which ones are you most excited about? For me, it's definitely the Britney Spears one. Next up is hotels. There are three luxury hotels opening this year in Manhattan. We have the Fifth Avenue Hotel opening in what was once a Gilded Age mansion. There's also the Corinthia Hotel, which is a luxury chain that's opening their first location in New York City this year. Then the Moxie Hotel is opening in Williamsburg. I'm most excited about the Moxie mainly because I love their Manhattan location. They have a fabulous rooftop bar there as well in Manhattan. I imagine that their Williamsburg location will probably be even better than the Manhattan one because they have more space and it's brand new. If you're coming to New York this year, consider booking at one of those hotels. This next one you're gonna love if you love spas, which is me. There's a new spa that just opened. It's called World Spa. This concept is really cool because what they do is they combine all of the most amazing elements of spas from around the world. Think like a sauna from Norway and a hammam from Morocco, things like that, all into one location. 
and it's amazing. I went recently, they have an indoor pool, jacuzzi, all different types of treatments. And what stands out from other spas is that this spa actually has gourmet food and cocktails, which I personally found that other spas in the city do not have. So you can literally spend the whole day here, have a relaxing time and enjoy delicious food. Art lovers are gonna love this one. You can't see it quite from here, but the Met Museum is all the way over there. And for the first time ever, they're going to have Van Gogh's two paintings, Wheat Field with Cypress and Starry Nights on display together at the Met Museum for the first time ever. This will be be in summer of 2023. The next couple things are wild cards, which means they could be done this year or next year. But either way, these ones are the most shocking to me and the ones I'm most excited about. If you love open walkways like this, then you're gonna love what's coming on Fifth Avenue this year. Fifth Avenue Open Street is a new policy where they're literally going to turn Fifth Avenue into a pedestrian friendly road, essentially. So from 42nd Street where Bryant Park is all the way to 59th Street, they're going to transform that into a area for pedestrians with bike lanes. There'll be tables, it'll be really nice. Uh, so they're gonna start working on that in 2023. I'm thinking it might be live in 2024, we'll see. But I will tell you that during this holiday season, they actually did it for select weekends and it was a huge hit. My only concern is how bad is traffic gonna be? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know how that's gonna go, but it could be a really good idea. And we're back with John filming his video <laughs> behind the scenes. I'm behind him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave John to it, but check out his video. Uh, he's doing one on a similar topic, but with different attractions. So if you watch both of ours, it's beneficial for you because you learn even more. The Chrysler building is getting an observation deck. This will be the sixth observation deck in the city. This will be located on the 61st floor, which is the same floor that those beautiful silver Chrysler Eagles are hanging out of. There's actually four of them around the edges of the building. If this happens, and let's cross our fingers it does, because it has been approved by the city, there will also be new restaurants, retail, and a food hall added to the Chrysler building, which will be the first of its kind. So exciting. There's gonna be a new waterfront park just like this one on the Williamsburg waterfront. It's gonna be called the River Ring. This will completely transform the ugly industrial site on Brooklyn's waterfront at River Street between North 1st and North 3rd Street. It will have three areas of public open space and three areas of protected in water access. And they're also gonna add new homes, a YMCA and green technology. Okay, we are on our way to our final. And in my opinion, the most shocking thing that will be coming to New York City very soon. It's called the Plus Pool, and it will be located right there on the East River. And this pool is actually going to be floating in the East River. It's going to be filtering out all the grossness. In fact, the river has not been swam in since 1936. So it's literally almost been 100 years that they haven't even swam in here. It's that nasty. Well, a group of scientists in 2009, I believe, started this campaign to create a pool in the East River that filters the water out and is completely free. They are closer than ever to making this happen. This project's been literally worked on for like 15 years almost now. I'm very excited about it. It's probably the thing I'm most excited about. Jay-Z even oh. put it in his blog recently, which I didn't even know Jay-Z had a blog, but he did. This is completely crowdfunded by Kickstarter, and it's also being helped made possible by the creator of the High Line. So if they can make the High Line happen, they can make a pool happen in the East River, please. Wouldn't that be awesome? Awesome. Would you swim in it? Let me know. I, I feel like if it's filtered, I would do it, but I'm very hesitant. But I watched a lot of uh, videos about this and the science behind it actually really does work. So it is clean water. We drew this diagram that was like, we're gonna filter out the rats and we're gonna filter out the condoms and we're gonna filter out feces and then this bacteria and da 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 da. Simple, right? And that's one of the problems with city water. <laughs> You have 8.6 million people living in one place and the water's not gonna be clean. And that's why it's so important that they need to filter this before I get in any pool. So what's happening in New York in 2023? Well, a lot, let's summarize. We have a new Grand Central, 
17 new Broadway shows, three new luxury hotels, restaurants, Van Gogh, a pool, hopefully, Chrysler Building, River Ring. I probably forgot something, but there's 10 exciting new things. Let me know what you were most excited about in the comments, and maybe I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.